from Levi Brooker, and uh, this is our, our Gap experience um, with Dysol, an Australian company in the solar energy field. Uh, my teammates were uh, Steve Goodwillie, Saba Kazemi, Peter Odzinski, and uh, Steve McCandless. And the majority of, of Gap was uh, meeting with the group and spending time on the telephone, uh, spending time on Skype, um, just a lot of uh, talking through things and, and uh, breaking off and, and doing our own research and then getting back together to discuss what it all means. I'd say every week we were doing anywhere from 10 to 20 hours of, uh, of overall research and, and meeting. So the bulk of, of the project is, is research. So the secondary research, stuff like uh, surfing internet blogs, um, publications, industry trade magazines, uh, but the bulk of the work was the primary research, which was face-to-face -face interviews. So yeah, we, we ended up interviewing over 200 people. Uh, we went to a few trade shows. Peter and myself went to Dallas to a government energy convention. Steve Goodwillie went up to San Francisco to a solar energy uh, expo. And then we went to one downtown Los Angeles at the convention center. And that was, that was where we really found what the competition has been working on. We actually saw, here are the products that, that these guys are putting out in the market. Um, this is what Dysol has to go up against. Uh, the midpoint presentation uh, seemed like it came pretty quickly, but it ended up being very helpful because the, um, the judges were hearing all this information for the first time, so it was good to have a fresh set of ears, and, and they picked out some pretty big, important um, issues that we needed to address. Steve Goodwillie, he spent uh, years um, in, in show business in, in Las Vegas and New York. He's, he's just a natural presenter. Well, preparing for the final presentation was a little stressful, again, because we were telling our company no to what they initially wanted. Um, but we felt that we had the facts behind it, and uh, we spent a lot of time making sure that we steered the audience in the right direction. We came together and, and put together what I thought was a, a pretty good end presentation. But, I mean, the most important thing that I think Dysol got out of this was uh, publicity because uh, we found when we were going to these trade shows that the people who should know about the product had never heard of it. And so we went around and talked to 200 industry experts who should know what the product is and when we left, you know, whether they were going to use the product or not, they, they had heard of it. At, at the end of this, uh, you feel like you, you gave a hard product to, to somebody who could hopefully use it. So that was a good feeling.